television cameras captured the imploding towers. But the images do not show the almost 1,000 children of Cantor Fitzgerald employees who lost parents, nor the 38 pregnant wives who became widows. Doug Gardner was one of those who perished. His sister, film director Danielle Gardner, honors him in her new documentary about the firm's tragedy. It's called Out of the Clear Blue Sky. I kind of wanted, wanted people to hear a brother-sister relationship, which is just, this was just defined by kindness and generosity, and hopefully hear love and realize that that's what's been lost. Cantor Fitzgerald CEO Howard Lutnick survived the attacks because he was out of the office that day. But his brother died. Lutnick speaks of the bond that developed among relatives of the deceased. They were amazed to find other people who had children just like theirs. And then, so they were able to help heal their broken hearts by being with others who, who could listen to them, who could hear them. As the ruins smoldered, families held out hope that their loved ones had survived. Lutnick vowed to help the victims' families, but then, in what was seen as a cold-hearted move, he stopped paychecks to the families of those who died. That, he says, helped the firm survive so he could fulfill his promise to the families. So you have two choices. We can shut the firm, go to our friends' funerals. 658 funerals, right, is 20 a day for 35 days in a row. Or we're going to work harder than we've ever worked before in order to help our friends' families. Today, Cantor Fitzgerald, located uptown from Ground Zero, is thriving with 1,700 employees, 700 more than it had a decade ago. The firm has donated more than $180 million to families of victims. New buildings are rising in the World Trade Center complex, but Cantor Fitzgerald has no plans to return there. Danielle Gardner says what was lost cannot be replaced. The buildings had people inside of them, and I had been there, and it's been time there, and I knew that there was a world in there and a life and thousands and thousands of lives there on a daily basis, and people worked there. It was a living entity inside. The names of nearly 3,000 victims of the September 11th attacks are etched into parapets that surround cascading pools where the Twin Towers once stood. Howard Lutnick fought to have the 658 names of his Cantor Fitzgerald colleagues grouped together. They will remain together for eternity. Peter Fedinsky, VOA News, New York.